The Food and Drug Administration said it will not approve any generic versions of the original form of the widely abused painkiller Oxycontin as its patent expires. Privately owned Purdue Pharma's original patent for Oxycontin expires on Tuesday. Back in April of 2010, the FDA approved Purdue Pharma's reformulated version of the drug that is resistant to chewing, crushing, breaking, or dissolving in water. Oxycontin is one of the most powerful and abused painkillers on the market. The original version can be snorted, injected, or smoked to produce a quick high. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, overdoses from painkillers in the U.S. led to more deaths in 2010 than heroin and cocaine combined. Purdue's new version was designed to discourage the painkiller's abuse, and when it's dissolved, it simply turns into a jelly. When the FDA approved Purdue's reformulated version of Oxycontin three years ago, they called it a step in the right direction. But now, in 2013, the FDA has banned the original form of the drug, barring it from the legal U.S. market. The FDA said in a statement, The FDA has determined that the benefits of original Oxycontin no longer outweigh its risks. With Purdue's exclusive patent rights to produce the original form of Oxycontin reaching its expiration date, many generic drug manufacturers have been eyeing the chance to produce the potentially dangerous drug for themselves. But sadly for them, Purdue Pharma has many more years of exclusive patent rights over the new abuse-resistant version of Oxycontin.